What's going on everybody? My name is Armand Wake Up and welcome to another episode of Model Ministry. Today, um, I have a hilarious story. Go did me kind of dirty, y'all. So I'm the sneaker plug for a lot of people, but the most important person would be my wife. Like, listen, I'm, I'm tall and skinny and I tell y'all this, there's certain sneakers that I can't get because I think they look really, really weird on my feet, just bulky and just trash. LeBrons are one of those shoes. I only own one pair of LeBrons and I don't really wear them like that. But on a smaller foot like my wife, they are fire. She shows some interest in the uh, LeBron 8 red carpets that came out uh, a little while back. So I went to go. Her size was actually under retail. So went on ahead, pulled the trigger, right? Let me preface this story with I prefer GOAT to StockX. GOAT, the price is a little bit higher, but I feel like you're paying for a more premium resale experience. Granted, I've never had a bad experience on StockX, but honestly, with the whole data breach, um, I feel like they sold data. That just kind of turned me off and I don't use that platform anymore. So I'm primarily GOAT anytime I've, I've sold items on GOAT always had a great experience you know even with quarantine and everything I hear that StockX is like taking forever for payouts gold is not the case everything moved as if it was a, a normal transaction as if we weren't in the middle of a pandemic <sighs> but then I got the shoes I'm gonna share the pictures that I sent to go I no longer have the shoes I already sent them back and I didn't have enough time to do the video unfortunately but let me tell y'all so my wife wears a size eight, right? Eight men's. Bruh, one shoe was an eight, the other shoe was a size six. It was a six. Like, it had the, the stickers on the insole where they both said size eight, but if you looked at the tag on the inside of the shoe, bruh, the other shoe was two sizes smaller. Like, so that let me know primarily that, yo, GOAT only checked one shoe, which then leads me to believe how many fakes, how many uh, reps and variants and whatever you want to call them, how many of those are getting through the cracks because I don't know if it's just like there's just a higher volume, which is very possible, but they only checked one of my shoes, dog. Like that is insane and that is also inexcusable. I reached out to a couple of my sneaker friends and they said, yo, email them, because I was just gonna do an exchange. But when I did the exchange initially, they said, yo, we're going to charge you shipping. Nah, bro, this is your fault that I'm sending these back. That's not, that's not how this goes. Sent the email basically saying, yo, y'all sent me two shoes that are two completely different sizes and I want my money back. Um, they got back to me pretty quickly and they asked for, you know, pretty much the standard GOAT pictures, like pictures of them together, pictures of the tag. Initially, the email said, um, you know, we apologize, and I'll post it, but, you know, we apologize for your shoe having creases. And I'm like, nah, bro, there weren't no creases on this shoe. This shoe is two totally different sizes. Y'all are bugging right now, give me my money back. So I sent, all, I sent them all the pictures, sent them the different sizes, sent them the, the tags, sent them the stickers, sent them everything that they wanted. Again, they got back to me really quick and they gave me a full refund, uh, allowed me to send them back, and they gave me a, a $25 GOAT credit in good faith because they can't exchange the shoes because it's a resale shop, right? I don't get too bent out of shape. Like, I'm not the guy, I'm not, I was told by Apple Care, I'm not, I wanna speak to the manager. Like, that's not really my bag. Um, if you're able to accommodate me and, you know, we take care of it, I know that customer service is one of the most stressful jobs that you can have. So that doesn't bother me. Serving people can be really, really difficult and people can come off like wild entitled. So I try to be as accommodating as possible, even if you know I have reason to be upset. And in this case, I kind of had a reason to be upset, but honestly, it's a first world problem. It's some sneakers that's not worth you know, getting upset about. So they handle everything pretty quick. You know, the $25 was cool, but here's the kicker. So typically, I, you would think that I would just go ahead and order another pair of the red carpets, right? I can't lie, I'm a little nervous. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I have questions. What do they do with that pair? Like, do they send them back to the seller? Do they like revoke the guy's money? Does GOAT take the L? And if GOAT takes the L, what do they do? What do they do with the shoe? Do they, you know, sell them as defected? Like, I don't know what they do. That's a that's a great question. So I'm a little nervous. So what do y'all think I should do? Do y'all think that I should just go ahead and buy them again? You know, my wife isn't super pressed for them, but she's not the super pressed type, you know? Or do I just take that money and and and, and send it elsewhere? Do I let it sit? Like, what do y'all think I should do? If y'all in my circle, if y'all were in my situation, what would you do? Do you understand my plight of being a little nervous about shopping with them again? You know, would it just be a one-off where I've had all these good transactions and good interactions with GOAT, but now I have this instance where, eh, not so much. What would you do? Leave me a comment. My name is Armand Wake Up. This is Model Ministry.